stitching on and turn the water on okay then we come to the front of it and it's on standby so we press the on button for four seconds and it should switch on and there you go it's gone on okay, once that's on you can then start your machine and you just press the on switch so this is doing a wrong test for the circuit board the computer board at the back um, and we just wait for it to do its thing so once it's done that let's take the tab off the top of the canister and put the wand in And that's when they go in it actually initiates the test button to flash and that's what you should confirm so when we press it it goes into the test version and it'll just clear the screen and restart so all the ones that are ticked have already been tested while it was it was going up the screen and as it goes through all these, which are all points on the machine, it's testing to make sure that they're okay to be used. If there's a red cross at any time um, and it comes up red, it means that it's failed. It'll carry on testing to the very end and then it'll come up with test failed. And if that happens, then you have to press retest again and press the button because sometimes it's just a blip and it goes through a second time. All right. So at the moment that's doing all its test. So this is where now we've got time to line the machine. When it's in a test mode, you can't do anything else but line the machine. You can't um, switch anything on or use anything apart from the blood pressure because that's an emergency um, station. So if the lines are open this way, it makes it easier. So we don't want that at the moment. What we're looking for is that one. And it's got a roll ball on it, so we need to roll it down and take the spike off. Don't touch the spike, and when you twist and get rid of that, hold it there so that you're not touching either ends of them. And you just push it into it, and then squeeze this and fill it about half full. These are what we call transducers, and the little devils sometimes they jump on. And there's only one way they screw on, the other way won't go on. And you just screw them onto the arterial and the venous lines like that. Check that this is on correctly so it doesn't fall off, and then just take the tape off. Everything's got a, either a clamp or a um, connector to it that you have to remove. Okay, you can just screw it in. Always red down. And as you're unraveling, you've got the arterial chamber, which we clamp. And then we turn it upside down so that when we prime, it fills up. I just don't know, making sure they don't touch the floor. Okay, there's only one way this should go in. And this is your heparin line, which means this is your heparin here, so it needs to go on this side. So you clip it into there, and you can actually run it. And it'll run it round for them, and it hooks in. This is your arterial line that gets attached to the transducer, and this is where you clamp off your heparin because we're not using it at the moment and lay it there out of the way. Okay, unraveled. Okay, it's 
do we clamp this little one because we don't use that anything we don't use gets clamped and then you get your priming line and attach it to the arterial which is there and this is the saline port once you've done that you then roll the ball and what it does it pulls this line up <laughs> It'll only go this way and it pulls it up with gravity. So we get rid of most of the air out of it. And can't put this back it. And as we hand it over the side there, out of the way. And that's the arterial line done, completed. So then we go down to the blue line. We always make sure that this bag's screwed in because sometimes if they're loose, they fall off. over there <clears throat> just close go. Okay. and this is the, the venous chamber and it goes into the holder there and it has to be doesn't have to, it shouldn't be too low shouldn't be too high it has to be about there okay if it's too low then sometimes it miss it um, it detects the air when there's no air there it's uh, it's a bit too low. Okay, that goes into the transducer there and screws in. That comes off there and goes into there. And that's the lining complete. So it's preparing the machine. So the screen at the moment is, uh, this is the, the, one of the main screens. Okay, so if we go to menu, which is the UF menu, and press it, it comes up with what you want to take off. So this gentleman's taking one, two off, and then you have to drop it down. And if it's green, you can change it. And he's doing four hours. And once you've done that, you confirm. And it transfers onto the main screen. So there's your four hours, there's your 1.2 taking off, okay? And then if you take it across to dial a safe representation and confirm to get in the window, you've then got the setup for this. So we want five, we want the blood pressure history, and while it's green, we can change it. So if you press five, there it is. And if you drop that down, and we want OCM, which is seven. So we press a seven. And then we take it across, because this is where you set up your OCM. So his dry weight is 88, and if you drop it, his height is 185, and you drop it again, age 79, and again, and it's got female there, and we want male, because there is a difference with it. And then we cut across, and that's the goal you're putting in, and we're aiming for 1.3, so 1.3. And that's it. Confirm, and it all comes onto the main screen. So you've got your history there, and your KT overview there, and that's the rest of it, which is being taken off through the four hours dialysis. in between the two points there uh, and just pushes in and take that down and this has to be taken down don't forget before you start dialysis it's, because yeah, that's right. if you don't and you don't set it then yeah. it won't do it once you start oh, okay. you'll have to do it manually right okay You had iron last time, so yeah. we're set at three, that's and right. you only run at one right. normally, don't you? Yeah, that's right. So you go to your rate button, right. and it flashes, yes. and you take it down. Yeah. And you just take it down to one zero. Oh. Okay. 
and it's still flashing so you press the rate again yeah. and it fixes it in yeah. always check your little clock because yeah. that's your stop time and it's stop time is zero so the heparin runs right up to the end of dialysis for you which is right all right and once we've done that this line's empty at the moment so we need to fill it so yeah. you're ready to start yeah. and so we bolus it with just one, one which is enough to fill the line you keep your finger on it until it goes to one yes. that's it that's and that's filled the line now right. okay we're all set and ready to go yeah. So when you open this pack up, you can gel your hands open and open the pack up without touching the centre of it. So there's little corners that you just pull and there's no need to touch the inside of it then. It's all nice and clean. And you've got a little tweezers on the top that you can pull off. Let's get rid of those. We don't need those today. And then you keep all your tweezers because you're not we don't want any of this plastic going on there because you don't use touch them and so you do it with your tweezers okay so once we've got rid of all the packaging we're ready to put them on we'll just put the drape on, on there. Okay. let somebody do that, that button on button. The, yeah so we can just release it a bit that's it that'll do Alright. Yep, that's fine. Pop that under here. We'll usually tape it down because it's tends to when when Peter's doing it himself, it tend, he leans forward and it tends to slide down. Mm -hmm. So it's better to tape it. And once we've done that and the, all the packaging's got rid of, then we put our gloves on them and start. I do I'm doing your job. Yes, <laughs> Forgetting the pink. There you go. And we can prime these. So once we've got our gloves on, we can touch them. I'm just pushing the air out of those. Okay. We've got a couple of these. Go over to here and start cleaning. So we hold on to the hub at the bottom and clean upwards. And make sure we give the clamp a good clean because that's what you'll be touching. And then once you've done that, you clean the bottom bit. The orange bit you just take off because it's impregnated with the pink. And so it's already kept the cap clean. So we don't need to clean the end of it. And we pop the 10 mil syringe on first. And you push it in and twist. Open it up. And withdraw the blood. Now this is the old lock that was in there and it's sat in there since the last dialysis. It's got hep old heparin in and it needs to come out. It's no good um, pushing it in. You shouldn't be pushing it in. So we get rid of that and remove it. And then we put the saline on here. Same thing. Open the clamp up again and pull back slightly and we're just looking to see if there's any dark clots. Sometimes you get little clots in there and if there is then he's going to have to remove them. But there isn't, it's all clear. Hold it up so the air comes to the top if there's any in it. And then just push it in and clamp it. And that one's prepared. And the same with the other one. You always, always when you go to the next one change um, gauze and make sure you've got them two clean pieces. Use the same ones. Okay, Put a good clean around the hub and that. Hold on to it. Remove it. Turn the syringe on. And clamp. And pull back. And it's about five mils, so it's about half the syringe to come out. slightly to make sure it's all nice and clean, which it is, hold it up and just push it and that's that. Now we're ready to attach to the machine. There's a joint there and we'll be touching that to connect, so we like to clean that. That needs to be clamped. Okay, so we stop the pump, we close the 
clamp the big red and the big blue. We also clamp off the saline because we don't want that now. And this is where we open up the heparin, ready to go. Okay, give that a, a little bit of a wipe and unscrew it so you don't touch the end of it. And the same with this one. And they're all clean and they just connect up. Make sure they connect straight, they're not twisted or anything. Take that one off. Exactly the same. So disconnect that. Connect that onto there. Okay. And then we open up the large blue. And when we do that, what we're looking for is bubbles where we've connected. Because there one. you go. Because this line is actually going to him, so what else? so it goes around, it comes out of here, goes around the machine and goes into Peter, back into Peter. So we're not bothered about that one because that one will go that way, but this one will go into him. So when we connect, we like to make sure that we've got no air bubbles. There's one there, so. And there's a couple there, and we just chase them. And we'll just get rid of them. And it probably, this, this size won't do any damage, it will probably... Um, disperse um, before it did any damage to Peter but there'll always be a time when there's a bigger bubble well, there and so they have to get into the into the routine of just chasing them to make sure and you open that up yeah, yeah. and release that and it all goes up into there you. And you have to make sure that they're all in there and once they're done just clamp it off and then we can open up the large red and the two here and he's ready to go it's actually flashing what it wants you to do so you need to confirm that and start the pump and it's only on 100 so we need to bring that up to two and you can see the blood's already starting to circulate wait for it to come into the chamber here remember yes, right. and as the density of the blood gets darker it actually senses it yeah. and then it stops and makes an eno sort of noise to let us know that it's ready for starting dialysis there we go and it says preparation end so it's flashing again so now we need to press it no no those limits and there we go oh, yeah, dialysis so you're on dialysis and we need to check your eight green lights That's to right. make sure everything's switched on. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. seven. We switch the heparin on. Yeah. Eight. eight. Yeah. So eight green light That's eight green good. lights is go. Okay, and your dialysis. And there you go. The volume's already started taking off, so you've already got three mils off now. Mm. And it'll just keep going up. So now what we need to do is give you your bolus of three, mm. okay? Now this is your one-off bolus that you get once you start dialysis, just to give you a boost at the, at the beginning, okay? So you go to the bolus, you keep your finger on it, and it'll go to zero, and then it should go up to three. And we just keep it on until it goes to three. There we go. And that'll flick back to one in a second. There you go. It's really important that we see what the rate is because that's what's been given hourly, hourly yeah, yeah. for you. So it's uh, one mil per hour. Yeah. All right. The three mil that we just gave you, you give manually, and it's just a one-off bolus. That was that thing going down. Yes. Uh, so that goes. Three, goes uh, yeah. Three mils. Yeah. So it pushes now three it's going mils. Through one one mil every hour. So yeah. Go and down. it just trickles in slowly. Mm -hmm. We set, we go to the blood pressure menu and it's this one here, interval. Yep. So we set, we take it down to the green and then we take it up in increments. So we do 30 minutes, every 30, 30, 30, minutes. 30 minutes. So lock it in by confirming and, and then, then you take your blood pressure. That's if you that's don't that's take your blood pressure, it's not locking it in because it doesn't know what time you took no, your last no, one. No. It's got it, you've got to take have, that, that, that sets it. Yeah. And then from the time you're doing your blood pressure now, yes. it's 30 minutes till the next one right. goes off. Gotcha. All right? Okay. So once it comes, it's got UF goal reached. So we've come to the end. So if you press 
that, it gives you KT over B of 1, which is good. Okay, if you press the second time, it comes up with reinfusion, and we would need to confirm that. So we confirm it, and what happens is then the whole thing stopped. Okay, and all the, the um, alarm limits open up so that they don't alarm when you're um, coming off. So then we turn the pump speed down to 200. Okay, and we clamp the red clamp. Open up the saline and start the pump. And as you can see, the saline's already running through and washing it back. When these lines come to um, a finish and they're washed back, they should be like a rosé colour. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once it's done that, you'll see that it's asking you to um, reset again. So if you reset, empty buyer bag comes up and you confirm. And at the same time, the pump starts, but only tap, there you go, only starts for a few seconds and it just gives him just enough to get to the rosy color. And once that's done, then you clamp your blue one off because we finished with that and open up the red. And what happens is then the red runs by gravity to him. And the reasoning that we always do the blue first is that if you started the red first and there's an airlock in here, it would go straight to him. So it has to be the blue first so it goes through the machine and it clears any airlock if there is one in there. So the best way to do that is to put the two together and when they're the same colour, clamp it. Okay, so those two are clamped off now. A drape on so he doesn't get blood on his shirt basically. So let's pop that up there. The tapes will do. And once we've done that, we can clamp off that one and that one. And we have a little device here. So we're going to unscrew it, make sure everything's clamped off so we don't get any leaks. Pop that into that and that to that. And you can forget the machine, the machine's done its job and it's finished. And no leaks because you've joined everything up. So we just leave it there. At this stage when you're setting up you don't need to wear gloves but you need to gel your hands because all we're doing is removing all the packaging and just laying it on the, on the tray. So once we've got rid of all the packaging and it's all set up ready to go then we gel our hands and we put the gloves on. And this is the same for pizza as well. So get the air out of here and prime these so that there's no there's a bit of an airlock in it. So we push it out and get rid of it. Now your lock-in dose is one seven on each of them, isn't it? Okay. And I get you to go up to two, don't I? And then push the rest out so that you make sure they've got no air in there as well. So if you draw it up two and then push to one seven, it'll get rid of any air that's in there for you. Okay. Right. So once again, we have to clean all the way up because we'll be touching there. And then all the way around here. And you never ever use the same cloth twice with the other lumen. Okay, and then we give that another clean run there because that's what we're going to be using now. Pop that on there out the way. Okay. So we've got the saline on first. And clamp. Hold it up so that if there's any air in there, it'll go to the top. And we get the head print. And swap them over. So we take that one off, put that one on. And the head print you have to push in slowly so it doesn't agitate the saline that we just put in. 
so it goes in a bit slower okay and clamp it and leave it on because while it's on there it keeps it clean for you okay and then we start again with um, fresh clean gauze as well onto this one and it's just repeating the same process and then these little guys here these are actually got chlorhexidine which is the pink stuff inside these and so once they're on here it keeps them clean so we remove that and then take put that straight on and these get changed every time he has dialysis and it keeps um well they've been in, introduced to combat infection in the lines mm -hmm. and it's reduced it considerably since we've been using them mm -hmm. done